Hello everybody, welcome to my house videos. Uh, today I'd like to show you another one done by me here in this program. Um, as you already know now. Um, this one actually is a, one of those more interesting ones. So I decided to show it. And also I like showing these videos anyway because it gives me good brainstorming material for my start to finish tutorial house video I should start here in the next week or so yeah so I mean I'm still sort of brainstorming on that because I want to make it good but and I uh, want you to see how I clearly do things around here even though I've been giving you t some tutorials on and off but anyway now back to this house that's because this is what this video is all about as you can see two car garage um, big windows in front a uh, nice little stoop area there some shutters see-through windows as I always do so you can see inside the house from here a combination of a hipped and gable roof which I always like the best curved bay window roof and as you can see the house is on a little bit of a slope as you can see I go up the steps here but um, out here you can just step on out because of the s small slope so that's why you see that again you can see inside we will go in there in just a second Probably one of my favorite features is this chimney area and windows back here as well as this front door here. Sort of a craftsman front door in a way. You know this house is nowhere near a craftsman house. Just windows, nice big dormer. Ducko, as well as River Rock. Alright, we will be going in. Walk into an entrance, a tiled entrance hallway. Darn it. As you can see, and as we walk into the living room. Tall vaulted ceiling, beams, fireplace, see that's the entrance hallway, dining room, formal dining room, entrance hallway again, so you can go around in a circle. Breakfast room, door to patio, kitchen. Now I'm gonna. I'm. I think I'm gonna revise this kitchen just because. Um, yeah, here are your spice shelves. There's the stove and such. Yeah, I want to revise it soon. And then here is the hallway. Pantry, laundry room, garage, basement, and powder room. Go into the garage. As you can see, it's just a space. And there's a hobby station over there. So you can see a couple steps going up. Basement, and then powder room. Watch my cursor because I point to things. Alright, um, before we go upstairs I'll show you the master bedroom, which is this door over here. Oh, sorry. Master bedroom.
And there's a walk-in closet, and then there's a bathroom. Not bad. Not bad. The linen closet. Just put plantation blind, plantation shutters over these windows, and you'll be fine. Shower. Double sinks. Alright, we'll go and see the rest upstairs. Basically, what all that's upstairs are just bedrooms and, some, and a bathroom, pretty much. But we'll go up anyway. As you can see, we're kind of in a corridor here. Railing. Up here is just unfinished attic space that could actually be a bone, potentially be a bonus room for you to, like maybe a pool table or something. Because I'll show you that right now it's just space. Window. So right now we'd actually be walking on like um, there would be a few plywood boards over where the door front over where the door is. Sorry. So I tried to come out of here, but I messed up. And then the rest of it would be studs. Well, I mean rafters and stuff. Alright, so as you can see that was the top of the stairs. This is the bathroom. Again you see your double sinks. Because there are two bedrooms up here. Bathtub and also sort of a shower, but I didn't include the shower head just because. Window looking out. Onto a roof. Linen, linens go here. So yeah, the linen shelves go there. You can choose to put a door on that or a curtain over it, your choice, or keep it like that. And as you can see, this upstairs hallway actually revolves around this closet here, which is kind of interesting. And then here, this is your little lookout. You're looking downstairs. That's a good feature of this house. I like it. I really do. And then there's a little round window there. Basically just to let light in this hallway. Which is another good feature. I debated putting that in there, but it, it worked. It worked. Alright, here... This is like a file closet kind of thing. Then bedroom two and bedroom three. As you can see, bedroom two just has like, you know, is that dormer window that you saw in the back. We'll see the floor plan in just a minute, so. Then bedroom, this bedroom actually has a walk-in closet, which is good. Which you will see in the floor plan as well. Then the third bedroom. I still I actually like this one. It's right there in front. See, you're looking down at the garage. You'll see Dad washing the car or something. Then you can overlook your street. However, it doesn't have a walk-in closet. It just has a standard closet. And then back behind this wall is actually the living room. So, yeah. Well, I mean, if it's a tall ceiling, it's got to go somewhere. As you can see, it makes that little zigzag shape, kind of like a W, or an M, which we like to call it. And, uh, of course, I, the basement door is locked, so we'll never go down there. But in case you're wondering, the stairs for the basement go right under these. And yeah. Let's measure that. Right? Yep, the basement stairs would go right under those. So you're not really missing anything. Besides, it's just where your heater and stuff are. Right? Oh yeah, in case you were wondering, that's the little round window for the hallway. Peekaboo!
And decorative vent here. Decorative eaves. This is still one of my favorite houses. I'm not going to lie. I think I might actually want to get this one built. And live in it, because I like it. There's your bonus room that doesn't have anything in it. It's a laundry room that we didn't go inside of. Kitchen. Alright, we'll see the house now. Now, in case you're wondering why I made the roof the way I did, was well, because I'll show you whenever you uh, look at it from above. You see, the roof would be in the way of the of the walls, and it would look like the roof obeys the very thickness of the walls. So, in the top-down view of this house, that's why it was made the way it was. See. So just bear, just bear with it. Um, so anyway, upstairs, you know, I mean, you go up, and then you circle this closet here, and there's that W I told you. M. Then there's a file closet, linen closet, some. There's coat closet in a way. This bedroom's got the walk-in closet. Regular closet. But I mean, both of them has have big windows though, which is another good thing. Both double hung. Both can open. window with a big smiley face in it. There's carpets. First story. Here are the stairs again. Remember how we walked in? Kind of made that little circle here. And also remember when I was labeling these doors here? Garage is always at the end of the hallway. U-shaped kitchen for best efficiency. I'm going to revise that kitchen. And here, this is the Breakfast, dining, living, self explanatory. And here's hers, and then his is just one. Well, I mean, hers has always got to be bigger anyway because she always likes a lot of other things a lot of shoes and a lot of clothing. A lot more usually than the guy, so usually his closet would be smaller, so that's what, that's what I did here. And I divided them both by the shower here. Which makes for efficient. It's efficient. Which makes for, you know, why it's another why it's my dream home in a way. I mean, it also proves that, I mean, a house doesn't actually have to be, well, big to be a dream home. I mean, it's as long as it has everything you like, and that's why it's called a dream home. You dream whatever you like. Right? I mean, so it really doesn't actually have to be a mansion. And that's why and a lot of people, when they get older, it's not... A lot of kids, you know, oh, make me a mansion, make me a mansion. But, you know, I mean, heck, you know, I mean, what would you do with a mansion if you think about it? Uh, trying to get, like, a scissor lift just to change a light bulb or paying, like, thousands of dollars a month for a maid. I mean, really. That's insane. 
And I mean all these security issues and upkeep issues and just all the space you don't even need. I mean, think about it. And I mean, you can have actually, have, sometimes I more or less think houses that are, are more compact are a lot more interesting than houses, than huge houses. Well, everybody, I that's one again for today. I hope you like it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really much appreciate it. There'll be more to come. Thank you very much for watching. All right, goodbye, and have a great day.